fairly bleak old day today. But it's really warm, really muggy. And I've fought long and hard, I really feel like it, over the last two or three days. But I just simply haven't come across enough to warrant um, making a film um, or a short video. Until now, and it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's such a relief to find something of some age here. There's definitely things here because I've found them here before. They're mainly sort of um, Stuart or Tudor. Um, but there's a lot of Second World War stuff here too, as I explained in my last video. But this little buckle has just got my blood up again slightly because it's lovely being out and it's lovely detecting, we all know that, but you've got to find things too just to keep your interest up. And it's still got its pin. I mean, I'm suspecting late 16th, early 17th century. And this is sadly a bit broken, but whoa, I'm really pleased with it. It's because it gave the same sound as one of those rifle shells. everything this place, even a nice cosy shed for shelter from the rain. The only thing we're lacking is finds. Well I haven't been doing that many live digs because all I was finding was rifle rounds but I've come to a, an area away from the coast um, and I haven't found any rifle rounds since. I've just dug a Big hole here. I mean, it's got a good foot down, and I found another little buckle, which is really nice. I mean, that is quite a deep hole. Nice. So, finally, we are finding some bits and pieces here. Again, I don't know how old that is. I'm not sure which type of, of buckle it is, um, but it's a whole one without the pin. Hooray! We're getting there. You've got to keep plodding on in this game. I mean, you do find things that suddenly come up from the most barren areas. Um, it really is putting the hours in sometimes, um, but I'm really pleased with that. Well, the views aren't so great here, but fortunately the finds are getting more exciting. I'm going to have to start live digging in a minute. I'd stopped live digging because I was digging up too much rubbish, but I've just found a little George the First dump halfpenny, or rather dump farthing. It's not in very good condition. Um, in fact, it's one of the worst ones I've found, actually. It's very odd. It's just been really corroded. And there's Britannia. I think that's her head there and her arm there on the other side. But it's plain to see what it is. And again, from quite deep, I'm giving myself massive pats on the back at the moment for finding all this stuff really quite far down. I'm using the dais in the hot program, but I've lowered the reactivity from three, not to 2.5, but one lower. I'm go I've gone down to, to two, and I'm digging really scratchy signals with some success. I'm really pleased with that. Right, long may it continue, hooray. But that, look. <laughs> Nine, 10, 11 inches. God, it really is miserable this weather. I may have to go and come back tomorrow. I hate detecting when it's like this. But anyway, there's the faintest signal there. I don't even know if you can hear it, but that's the sort of thing that is, you know, coming up with stuff. I mean, it really is so faint, but that was the same as the, the dump farthing I just found. Hmm. No, I'm not sure about that. Not enough there, really. 
And then I'm going to leave that. That's just too... That's just too scratchy. Yeah, I'm coming back tomorrow. This is horrible now. Um, there's no fun. So I'm going to dig this. It'd be so much nicer in the sun. Nice and warm, but... And all my equipment's getting wet. Ah! This better be worth it. Why do we do it? Just a bit of lead, but again at depth, it's brilliant. This is really working well at the moment, at the moment, the day is on two reactivity. I'm calling it a day. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm back out and I've been slogging away for another couple of hours in this field. I won't show you too much scenery because as you can see behind me, there's not much to look at. It's really foggy and nasty again. It's gonna clear up tomorrow, thank God. Um, but as I said, I've been here a couple of hours with really not much to find until just now, and just here, I found two quite interesting things, very close to each other and quite different in age, I think, too. Now, I don't know what this is, but I've never found anything quite like it. Let's see what you think. I mean, that looks really old to me. Um, you know, probably medieval or post-medieval. And then a very nice silvered buckle, again, just out of the blue, almost, I was almost about to give up. I was just getting bored. Fortunately, I think it's going to be too late to class as treasure. That wretched treasure process drives me mad. Sorry if you disagree and that you've, if you've got a nice flow. But, um, but that's two really nice things, about a minute and a part, just after I was thinking of stopping. While I'm here, very early on, I found this very round piece of lead, um, very deep. That got to have been made for something by the look of it. And then this coin, God, they don't come out well from this ground, these coins. Usually by picking away at it, the surface of these things, you could usually eke out a number or two or a Roman numeral just to give you an idea of what they are. But that's pretty gone. I mean, I'm imagining it's early Georgian. Anyway, we'll stick around here now for another hour or so and see what happens. And I'm sorry again that I don't have Tasky with me, but there's just too many sheep. Um, soon we'll be back on our own patch and I can bring him. Um, I may even take him down to the beach later with this and see if we can pick up a few coins. That's sounding very like the lead that I've been digging. There's lots of lead in this field. It's definitely harder going without Tasky. And I don't find as much either. He's my charm. Yeah, that I'm afraid is sounding very leady. I'm running the dais again on the, in the hot program, but reactivity lower to two. And it is really interesting how much deeper I'm getting on it. I've dug some really small targets today at some depth. You may think I'm working for Deus at the moment, the way I bang on about the depth thing, but it, it really is. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna, this is deep again. Oh no, it's a coin, I think, or a button. Button, it's the first button I found here. It's really nice to be on a field with no buttons, not much else, but no buttons. Um, 
got a bit of silvering on it. I'm not going to bother showing you that too much. It's got quite a nice shank on it, actually, that one. And it's very thin, very fine. Quite old, I'd imagine. But um, that, that's got a bit of age to it, too. And deep. Again, 10, 11 a foot deep. Well, I've just dug up a very fine smashed up copper coin. Again, I don't think there's anything on it, but I wonder if I can see the strings of a harp on it. There's certainly some lines going one direction. Um, do the Irish Georgian coins have strings on the harps of those coins? I don't know, can't remember, but anyway, it's very fine. If anyone else, if anyone can help me with that, I don't, you know, I'd be much appreciated. Anyway, this might be my last dig. Been out here a long time now. Ugh. And it's been worth it, definitely. We found a couple of nice things, but it's been hard work. Is it going to be more lead? I wonder. Right, it's in there. I can see it. It's lead. Gosh, there's so much of this in these fields. Big slabs of it. This is just a small slither. Hi there, and welcome back to Temporary Headquarters. As you can see, the sea's right behind me. Um, and therefore, it's really easy taking the dog down. We spend a lot of time down there. Sit. So he will get his exercise. It's a real shame I can't take him out, but he'll just chase the sheep. He'll chase anything. Um, he eats bees and flies. Um, so he's a little bit of a liability at the moment, but he will get better as, uh, as he calms down, I think. Tess, sit. Good boy. Um, we'll just have a quick look at some of these things, of which I think are more interesting than I even thought at the time. Firstly, this silver buckle. Which, which is silver, it's passed the foil test. I mean, it's particularly nice. Um, I think it must be Georgian. It's got, you can see where the pins would have gone through. Um, but that's a really, really nice one. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. That sort of made my day, that did. This I found on a different session, a little aluminium whistle. Um, that buckle, the sort of Tudory one, Stuarty one, that's jolly nice. Now, I have cleaned this up. I just don't know what it is. If it was smaller, I would say it was, it, it was a clasp of sorts. Um, and there is a tiny bit of ferrous just there. I think, would that, that might be a hole of sorts. I, do, I don't know. If anyone can help with that, that I'd, be, I'd be very grateful. Um, it looks to have some ferrous there on the hinge as well. Not the hinge, well, what might have been a, some sort of closey thing. And then this I found on the way back, once I'd packed all my kit away. It's lead and it is decorated of sorts. I don't know what that would have been. You don't, you don't get lead buckles, do you? But it's that sort of shape. Um, the coin I was talking about with the, strings well they're not strings I don't think and finally the little Georgian dump farthing so so some really nice bits and pieces there so thanks very much for joining me again and see you next time when more than likely we'll be back on a more familiar patch thank you very much